So over the weekend, um, the same-sex marriage was legalized in the United States. Effectively, nine citizens redefine marriage on behalf of millions of their peers, uh, many of whom were opposed to the idea of same-sex marriage. What is your views on the appropriateness of judges' views overriding properly passed laws? And also, do you think a political or ju judicial solution is better to address such a thorny issue, um, especially for countries like Singapore? Thank you. Well, this is the way the American system works. They have created the Supreme Court. and uh, It's nine men. And the nine men decide important issues. And in this case, it was five to four. So actually, one man decided the issue. <laughs> yeah, but that is their system. Uh, they will not say that they made a decision on the issue. They will say that they interpreted the Constitution in its true sense. And this is what the US Constitution has always meant. I mean, that is the way they I'm not a law professor, but. I think that's the way they explain their, their legal system. It's how they dis resolve social, political, economic, racial, all kinds of important issues. Congress, the parliament, doesn't have the last word. It goes to the Supreme Court. Things like abortion, things like uh, uh, racial discrimination, busing, drugs, all sorts of things go to the Supreme Court. It's not our system. In our system, the parliament decides, the executive, through the parliament, takes the lead, legislates, and legislates on behalf of the population. On an issue like LGBT, where there are very strong views in the society, I think the legislature has to act very, very cautiously. Because you can pass the law, but will it be accepted? Will it be respected? Will people feel that it is legitimate? I think that we have to have a good sense of the ground, a good sense of how people feel, and reflect the, va the values and the attitudes of the population rather than try to impose your own on them. Uh, even in America, there are people who feel like that. I mean, there are, there are many... 40% uh, of Americans are opposed to same-sex marriage. And they say, well, you decided this, but I don't like this. I have to accept it, but it's not my preference. I think in Singapore, we have different legislative um, arrangements. I think we have a much more cautious approach towards social issues. I think on LGBT issues, I've stated my position, is one where we move carefully because it depends, it's really a conservative population. And we, I think we let the views evolve with time, the population, they have to decide collectively rather than the government decide that I'm going to go one way or the other. Look, it looks like the, um, the issue that you said about identity and the fractured uh, sense of cohesiveness, you mentioned LGBT as being an issue 50 years from now, it looks like it's coming up sooner than no, that. No, I, I don't think the LGBT issue will, will wait 50 years to come up, it's here. But if you want to stay one nation cohesive for 50 years, these are the kinds of issues you must manage without fracturing Absolutely. our society. Absolutely.